When our continent Africa is on the track, it means we are able to reduce impacts of climate change and communities are able to adapt and mitigate effects of climate change and most importantly, live in harmony with nature. Even though we may find a lot of social and economic and yes, of course, environmental challenges in Africa, the attitude of the people, particularly the young people, are something that gives me a lot of hope in terms of what the Jeff can do. Africa is a beautiful continent. Africa is a land of so much opportunity. There is so much warmth, there is so much passion. Africa is not one country. Africa is many different landscapes, many ecosystems. Supporting Africa means supporting a diverse group of people and places while dealing with a range of economies and ecosystems. The challenges in Africa are diverse and so are our solution and capacity for transformation. Our diversity is our power. Working in policy coherence is cost effective. If we are able to help uh, ministries of environment or other conservation agencies at the country level to reflect the uh, global climate, chemicals and biodiversity goals and targets into the national development policies. That means that the budget, the national budget will respond to that and we will play a catalyzer role so these resources can be mobilized more efficiently and policies, development policies will be responding to those global environmental goals and targets. There is no understating the importance of Africa in the fight to restore our relationship with nature. Africa is a home to around 25% of global biodiversity, as well as eight of the world's 34 biodiversity hotspots. The Jeff approach does work. The potential benefits of the restoration, conservation, and sustainable use of nature in Africa are huge. We feel very well that there is not only our national national to protect the forests, but there is also the interest to see the future of humanity. We try to really work with the communities. It is not only the work of the Ministry of the Environment. Il y a une inclusivité, c'est-à-dire que nous prenons soin de bien vérifier que euh, toutes les parties prenantes qui sont impliquées dans la gestion des forêts sont présentes dans l'élaboration, la conception, la conception, l'élaboration et la mise en œuvre de tous ces projets sur le terrain. Africa being a youthful continent, the only thing that we inherit from our ancestors is land. And it's so painful watching young people inherit degraded landscapes. I believe in sustainable land management programs because they have been proven to be cost-effective and reliable ways of combating drought, desertification, and also climate change. Secondly, they offer win-win solutions for people, for planet, and for prosperity. Yeah, with the JEF funding, we've been able to improve the understanding um, of the ecosystem. Uh, for example, the Jeff has supported uh, the Commission to undertake a transboundary diagnostic analysis that mapped out the key environmental concerns. We've also then um, developed um, management instruments, governance instruments. With the Jeff funding, we developed a blue economy policy in Namibia, an ocean strategy in Angola, and then we supported um, South Africa with um, feathering their marine spatial planning work. Les interventions des femmes visent à un changement de comportement et de mentalité. Le financement des femmes étant multisectoriel et multi-acteur, notamment avec le secteur privé, le secteur public et la société civile, ces trois composantes doivent travailler en synergie. Si nous prenons le cas de péril plastique, la pollution plastique, Le gouvernement va travailler à mettre une réglementation sur la pollution plastique qui peut limiter l'utilisation du plastique ou l'interdire. 
Le secteur privé va travailler sur la mise en place d'alternatives au plastique et des initiatives de valorisation des déchets plastiques. Et la société civile va intervenir avec l'information, l'éducation et la sensibilisation pour les changements de comportement. I believe in having tailored solutions and what that basically means is if you're going to try to solve the chemicals and waste pollution issue in Africa or in Nigeria, you need to have young people from Nigeria and Africa be part of people who are making, you know, suggestions to text, who are helping you draft policies and laws. Le Fonds pour l'environnement mondial s'engage activement à soutenir des femmes, des jeunes et des peuples autochtones. Les mobilisant pour accomplir des avancées significatives en faveur de la préservation de notre planète et de notre avenir. The Africa that I want is an Africa where um, our people are independent. It's an Africa where we do not just focus on extraction, but we also look at um, sustainable utilization. We need a a whole of a society approach that engages meaningful young people, women, schools, academia, indigenous people and local communities and of course the, the private sector. We have the means to mobilize the resources that can truly make a difference for Africa and for all of us.